Hey guys, this is Jordi from Forward 3D Printing. Back when I started printing, this was my very first hot end. A lot of work went into it over the years, heaters, so on and so forth, for it to run properly. And after a while, they came up with this, which is called the J-Head. And it had a heating element inside a heating block that had a nozzle already CNC machine onto it, and it came with a Kydex or polymer body. So the most common problem with these was heat creep because it was really hard to keep these cool with the hot. Then you guys got spoiled with the E3D. V1 all the way to 6. I think V3 was probably when they started getting it very right. Um, but V6, I mean, no, no question, is one of the best hot ends out there. Unfortunately, I only have a clone in my hand, but I still wanted to show you how to clean it up or how you go about cleaning it up if you have a leak on top of the heating block or, or coming out of the nozzle. So let's go to the bench. I'll show you how to do that. I'll show you how to put it back together and I'll see you in a second. That is the body. That is called the nozzle. That is called the heat throat or throat. And this is your heat block. Metal tube inside is the heater or the heating element. And that little tiny watt wire right here is your thermistor, right? You always want the thermistor and the heater secured to the block. Just start with that. If you're doing this because you had a leak on your nozzle, then I'm going to go ahead and explain to you what happened. Inside the heat block, these two need to be flush against each other to make a seal. If for any reason they're separate, there's a spacing between them, material will begin to pull and pressure will begin to gather. So then the material will be forced out of the threads and that's when it starts leaking out to the top and the bottom. Once you have removed it, and once you have cleaned out the material out of these, you'll probably need to remove these completely from the heater, of course, the heating element and your thermistor. Once you removed it, I'm pretty sure you can torch it, don't overheat it, don't squish it. Remember it's metal, if you squeeze it hard with pliers while it's hot, you'll lose contour. Once it's clean, what you want to do to put it back together, put your nozzle all the way to the block. All the way to the block. Once it's all the way to the block, you want to retract it about a half a turn, right? You can see it's about a tenth of a millimeter what's left in there. Now you put the throw it to the body. Sometimes you'll notice this one has PTFE inside Sometimes you won't have that, it would be just stainless steel. This is a clone, so that's what I had to work with right now to show you this in the video. Tie it up, and now you're gonna insert the throat back into the heat block, and you wanna make sure, again, that your nozzle is nowhere close, that it's just about a tenth of a millimeter, and then you're gonna tie them both down. And that should fix your problem. Now, if you have a different type of nozzle and you notice that the body touches the heat block and you still have a little play on it, then that means that the nozzle might not have enough thread to reach all the way to the throat. And that's a bad thing. You always want to make that seal. Anyways, quick and dirty. See you guys. That's all I have for you. Don't forget, correct nozzles for your correct hot end. As always, don't forget to do everything that you do as if you were working for the Lord not for men. If you have any questions, leave them at the bottom or find us a Facebook group for 3D printing. See you around.